Hi there guys, just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Your support is really, really appreciated. If you aren't already a subscriber and you do like the content that you're seeing, please don't forget to click subscribe and also the alerts button so that you're aware of new videos as and when they become available. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so I have another Citizen for you to have a look at here. This is the Citizen BN0190 model reference. And it is, as you can see, a black dial eco drive diver's watch. Now, as you guys would know, I have covered a couple of uh, or a few mm -hmm. Citizen watches uh, very recently, and um, uh, there's a reason for that. Um, I have been very, very focused on Seiko, the other Japanese watchmaker, for quite some time, and uh, as I've sort of said in other uh, videos. Seiko for me uh, has a little bit more of a collectability uh, about it. It seems to, uh, in my mind anyway, have uh, watches that are uh, desired by collectors and watch aficionados. Citizen, on the other hand, uh, is a, a brand that I feel delivers absolute quality and pound for pound value, but doesn't necessarily have the prestige and the collectability of Seiko. I think they're just known a lot more for reliable pieces that are just good value and uh, you know you, you strap them on and that's it they're uh, you know especially with eco drive they're a watch for life and um, uh, I think recently you know some of the models that they've they've bought out they're really changing their design language and they're bringing out some really really nice pieces uh, this one in particular I, I really like it reminds me of the Grand Seiko divers um, but it is, that's not to say, you know, it's a homage to a Seiko, it absolutely isn't it, it's a citizen through and through. Um, but I really, really like this. So this watch uh, is 44 and a half mils across. It has a mineral crystal and is rated down to 200 meters water resistant. Uh, it has a screw-in signed crown there, as you can see, the Promaster crown. And um, you can see there, nice finishing on the sides and the the watch overall uh, again it's nothing you know particularly um, flash it is just a great looking dive watch that will suit function and purpose and uh, won't give you any um, uh, headaches in relation to battery changes or anything like that the eco drive uh, model here obviously means that it charges uh, by via daylight and other light methods through the dial and as a result you don't need to change the battery or anything like that as you can see those uh, hour markers and the hour hands have citizens proprietary uh, loom on there and they emit this beautiful blue loom very long lasting um, it's probably up there with seiko or super luminova uh, it, it's you know when you're down in the water the visibility on this watch is not going to be a problem as you can see, the watch uh, is uh, ticking every two seconds, which is essentially the warning that the uh, the uh, EcoDrive uh, system has a, a low charge on it. So, uh, for those of you looking, don't be concerned. Uh, hours aren't taking, or sorry, seconds aren't taking twice as long. Uh, it just needs to be charged. Uh, in with that in mind, the power reserve on this watch. Uh, from full charge to empty is about six months so you could essentially take this off uh, whack it in the cupboard bring it out five or six months later and it will be absolutely fine uh, no need for uh, to go back to citizen or anything like that just recharge it and, uh, and off you go as with all bezels from uh, starby who've kindly loaned this watch to us uh, it is absolutely spot on in terms of uh, its alignment and uh, it has a very very nice function to it you can see it is an aluminium bezel uh, with markings from 10 through to to 60 to indicate minutes uh, so obviously you can check how long you've been down uh, underwater for uh, but like I say it is ISO certified so it is a proper tool dive watch but uh, like I say it's uh, thickness of 12 mil means that it probably can and should be worn as a fashion accessory also um, but like I say, it has no problems going down to those depths of 200 meters. Like I say it has this, you know, beautiful uh, waffle style strap on it that is obviously fitted 
uh, like I say, no drilled lugs, which is a little bit of a disappointment. You may want to put this on, say, a NATO or something like that, um, or a sailcloth strap, but um, not a biggie. You can still change it using the strap change uh, tool, and uh, you can see there it has the uh, citizen signed clasp. So, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you do have any questions, then please, uh, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. But other than that, I thank you very, very much for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, wear your watches in the best of health, guys. Take care.